Well, what is up? Today we got some fun things we're doing. I don't know if you've seen those horizontal drillers in your neighborhood coming through. What they're doing is installing fiber optic cable through your entire neighborhood. And it just happened in ours and we're going to install a fiber panel on the interior of our garage so that we can have a clean install once they come and put in all of their equipment. You can see they've already brought and landed the fiber to the side of the house. So they've got a big old service loop in here and then what they're going to, going to do is usually they'll just drill through here, go into the interior wall of the garage. But for me, I want it to be inside of a enclosed panel with power so that everything can be tucked away and off the garage wall. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our location of our box. Directly on the opposite side of this is where all of our demarcations land from the other internet providers. So we've got uh, cable, we've got DSL, and now we've got fiber, or about to have fiber. So all of that falls kind of on the back side of this. What we typically do whenever we do, a, when we're pre-wiring a home before it's been built, we always put one of these fiber panels in. Um, that way, anybody that comes in in the future, as far as internet, can bring and land directly to the site and have easy access into where we maintain all of our network equipment inside the home. So this is just a 14 inch can is what we call these. We're gonna place it right here and it's gonna sit on inside the wall it's got plenty of access for all of our providers to bring things in and then we'll cap off any of the other holes. We're also gonna run a conduit up into the attic so that we can pull a new fiber along with a new Cat6 because this home was pulled before Cat6 really was the standard. And so we're gonna pull a new Cat6 as well over to our main panel inside the home. So, but today all we're gonna do is we're gonna get this set and get the infrastructure ready so that we can pull that. The first thing I typically do is verify that we've got enough room. So this is 14 inches wide. We've got to make sure we've got enough space between the studs to set this. That's kind of what I figured. We've got a stud here that this box is set to, and obviously the electrical panel, there's a stud right here for it to attach to because these just sit between those studs. So we don't want to cover up this because we're still going to use this for our sprinkler box. So we'll probably put our panel just above this and then we'll pull power in from this box so that we have power inside of here for all of the devices that may eventually go inside of that. Right there. Because this box probably is nailed on right here. And all we're going to do is try and keep this can when we go to set it. So this must be exactly 14 inches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our height right and I wanna be just above that outlet so that it doesn't get in the way. And then honestly, what's probably gonna happen is I'll cut my holes side to side because it's gonna be exactly 14 inches. We've got a door and a trim piece that'll go over top of this. We will bust out the saw. And we wanna be kind of careful that we don't hit anything. I mean, I would assume all the electrical is probably running kind of straight through like this, but I don't know that for a fact. We may have to move a few things. Then we can see what we're working with here. Oh, yeah. So you can see right here, this is our current demarcation. There is a cat six and a coax in here. We don't want to hit that and cause problems for ourselves. And then this is our electrical for this outlet. So we'll probably have to lay this stuff flat and get it back behind here so that it fits. But stud is ready. Oops. <laughs> now my ratio is naked. There we go. So we've got to be able to drill a hole in the top plate over here so we can get our conduit through that we've been working on getting. So we did not have the right size bit. So we're just going to go ahead and use one, two, three extensions to get it up there. <laughs> ah! We did it. So you see here and down here are where the old um, D marks were kind of poking out of the wall in two different spots. 
And so what we've done is now we've got a conduit directly into the box. And this goes up into that panel for our coax. And then we did the same thing right behind this. If you look, oh, I can't get it off. If you poke your finger in there, but directly behind it is another one of these. So now super easy access to run that into our panel. Here's the last step. If you look in here, look how beautiful this is. I'm gonna label these, but I don't have the label maker because it got left at the office, but. So this is our fiber, goes straight to the fiber box. This goes straight to our uh, cable box. This goes up into the attic for our new D marks that are gonna come from our panel. We're gonna go pull those next. And here's our power. So all we need to do is put the lid on this enclosure. Last step, slide that on, tighten these little babies, and let's see, if, will it close? Oh my goodness, it's like a professional did it. I love it. And I'm gonna lock it. To keep all you yahoos out of my internet. Don't be snooping on my internet. And we've got our new Cat6 and fiber pulled, prepped, and ready to provide us the fastest internet this house has ever seen. And you can have it too, if you call us. Booyah! There you go. Ready? That's so crooked. Thank you.